Why? Hello and welcome everybody. Also, good morning. Uh, today I wanted to go ahead and update you guys with a Mayhem Progress update. So this character is about 21 hours played, but I think that's wrong because I've played for about three days around six hours each. So probably closer to like 18 hours. Um, and I meant to give you guys a progress update yesterday, but I was just really tired. So we're going to go ahead and jump into a tier 16. And then I'm going to talk about the gear, the little bit of the progression, but mainly just the gear because we've already somewhat made a guide for this character. All right, so if you guys don't know on what Mayhem is currently doing, let's see. Oh, this is awful. This is a terrible showcase. So, uh, unfortunately, we hit the 35% less damage with 20 Harbingers uh, and then Hinder. So, really, this wouldn't be that bad if it wasn't 35% less damage. But Righteous Fire Jug on a 4-Link and a T16 with 35% less, not really very good. <laughs> not very good at all. Oh boy, this is uh this is really something with the Harbies. Not gonna lie, if it wasn't for Executioner, this would not be nearly as bad. The thing is is Executioner doesn't allow me to like because of Executioner Arc Nemesis mod, I cannot kind of just fly into everything, because if I fly into everything, I can just immediately go down to like 50%, which is a shame. I'm also stuck. This is a really shitty map. Right, so definitely not really one of the better showcases to do, but, uh, I mean, I figured this is, like, the worst that they get, so why not, right? Oh, did I mention there's Beyond on here, too? As if we really needed something else. Now, I do actually have Harbinger Node spec here because, uh, on my Atlas, I'm trying to get, well, I want to get an Immortal Flesh belt. Uh, Immortal Flesh is just such a fantastic belt for Jug. But... Um, I haven't dropped an Immortal Flesh yet, so what I'm doing is I'm doing Harbinger for Ancient Orbs who try to Ancient Orb a belt into Immortal Flesh. So that is like the current goal right now. Somehow, playing as reckless as I am, this character is only at three deaths, and the funny part is, all three of those deaths were before I got my Uber Lab. So basically, once I was actually a jug, uh, I have not really had any deaths since then. I've had a few close calls, as it is mayhem, and calls are very close. I mean, like, you could basically consider this entire map in your rip, so... Yup, there is that. Um, I don't even know where the map boss is. He's supposed to be by the little hut. I don't know where the hut is. Oh, shit, he's somewhere over here. Okay. Um... Oh, wait, I see his... Oh, there he is. Got him. Yeah, this is going to be a crawl with the 30... Oh, boy, what just hit me? Wait, where, where did he go? I lost him again. That boss? I'm going to believe he's in here somewhere. Maybe if it pops up with a master mission, I'll know he's dead. Hey, look, a master mission. Okay, well, that was cool. All right, I'll finish that map on stream. So, uh, holy fuck, that's, well, that's something. All right, so let's talk about the character, right? Okay, um, so everything here is pretty much normal. Um, this one little lingering int note is because right now I'm specting to, like, aura effect and a bunch of extra life nodes like here here um yeah i have this node i have these two parts on on the minion wheel which i have in the pob anyway but the whole point of this is i spec into the life nodes until i'm ready to go like one two three and then i can take cruel preparation drop those life nodes and then we can take uh breath of flames which is massive damage now 
Uh, this character still has pretty shitty gear, except my accessories. My accessories and my shield are good, so I'm going to hover over everything for you. Uh, this is currently my weapon. It literally just dropped with fire multi, and it's got a res roll, and I just crafted the fire and chance to ignite. Remember, the chance to ignite is acquired via unveiling on Jun. Uh, this is currently my frost blink flammability hex touch. Uh, also, let's just really fast uh, one tap a 21 flam. Okay, unlucky. All right, so my helmet over here is basically just a life plus one AoE uh, with regeneration rate and dex. Nothing special at all. I believe my fire trap is sitting in here. So we got level 19 trap in mine, a 20 combustion, the 20 fire trap, and then the 20 life tap. I actually just dinged all my gems 20 before I hopped offline. So um, all my gems are basically 20. Uh, I ended up killing Searing Exarch, and boy, I had to do Searing Exarch on a 4-link with 35% um, less damage. I think I had 14 ball phases and somehow did not die, but he dropped us the Dawnbreaker shield, which I think is nutty for Jug. I think the only way you really replace a Dawnbreaker is if you have like a 2... So first off, it's got to start with 2 max all res, and then I don't know whatever past that really, but Dawnbreaker is an exceptional shield, especially for something so affordable in the early game. Uh, and I've got Arrogance Vitality here. Let me just real fast one tap a 21 Vitality. Okay. Uh, all right. And then I've got my Purity of Elements, which I will go to 19. Okay. Thank God that didn't, that did not happen. All right. Um, remember, we are going to drop the Purity of Elements, but I do need to get a... Uh, I need to get two Golden Oils before I can do that. So that's not happening anytime soon. Um, my boots over here, uh, just standard, basically life tri res. Uh, I like to get chaos res in my boots. These don't have that much. They also don't even have regeneration. They're really not that good of boots. I don't know why I even have them. Uh, so I'm leveling a swift affliction here. I've got a determ with a malevolence, and I believe this is my molten shell. Uh, over here is just a belt. Um, this belt is missing something extremely important, which is an armor roll as a jug. Um, this is another reason I really like immortal flesh because immortal flesh actually gives. 40% increased armor while not ignited, frozen, chilled, or whatever, and that's extremely easy to keep up, especially with purity of elements for now. Um, gloves. My gloves are actually kind of interesting. We unveiled them via Jun, so we unveiled the plus two AoE. The other stats are not really that good, and it's not on a pure armor base, but it gives plus two AoE, right? So that's where our RF currently is. So we've got the 20 righteous fire inside my gloves. Um, I've got an efficacy, elemental focus, and burn damage. Remember, as Jug, because we take unyielding on the tree, or on our ascendancy, we get AoE per endurance charge, which means, in my opinion, you don't need to run ink AoE, and it's better to run uh, efficacy for the extra damage multiplier, since Jug doesn't get as much damage as Inquisitor. So this alone makes the clear feel pretty good. Um, right, so now time for my accessories that are carrying my build, and they are sponsored by uh, Jun TM. So... Uh, ring number one, you can tell it is Jun because it's got the cold and chaos roll. That cold and chaos is not normally achievable unless you like unveil something. Um, then it's got, you know, so basically life tri res with life regeneration. Nothing really that crazy. This one, on the other hand, is a lot better. So this one has a plus one minimum frenzy with a tier three chaos res roll. Uh, and then I just crafted life. And then my amulet, which was also sponsored by Jun, uh, is a plus one fire, 39 dex, 20 lightning chaos, and then max life. Um, and then I have allocated arsonist, as I preferred as our early game anoint, since most players in the early game do not have large sources of fire multi. Um, we're not really stacking jewels, especially in an event like this, so I really like arsonist until I can make the swap to charisma, which is way later. Um... Yeah, I think that's actually pretty much about it, though. I think that covers everything with my character right now. As for what I am doing at the moment, I am farming Chains That Bind in pen maps. Um, and then I'm going to try to poop out a six link. Oh, I guess I didn't show you my six link. It's not. Well, I guess it's a four link. It's not a six link. Sorry. It's not really very good. It's just got tri res and life. It's really shit. So if I get Chains That Bind on almost any armor base that's not like really poopy, I can immediately upgrade to a six link body armor, at which point we will enter the next hurdle on the Juggernaut build, which is getting four off color on a chest piece. Um, now I did actually drop it in power, but leveling it in power to three in an event like this without using Tora in whatchamacallit is kind of annoying, but yeah, anyway, we're playing it by ear. You know, we're just kind of having fun and relaxing in this event. So anyway, that's pretty much about it.
Hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. As usual, if you did, uh, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget, you can catch me streaming live every day about Mondays at twitch.tv slash pop. Actually, Sundays, not Mondays. See you guys all tomorrow.